are here at Cooper's Hawk. See, I used to do this with a menu, like reveal the menu, but nobody has menus anymore. It's all that QR code business. So yeah, we're over here. I'm having the Italian sausage flatbread and the Parmesan crusted chicken. Lena is getting the, what's the name of it? Tenderloin medallion. Tenderloin medallions is what Lena's getting. So we have like a pretzel kind of texture going on. And some butter. <laughs> the kids would love this. Taylor, Bob, if you ever watch this video. Man, you guys would love this. That's great. Do you like it? It's not heavy on the pretzel flavor. It's very subtle, but it's like fantastic. Oh my God. This just made my hopes go sky high for the food. If this bread is this good, the food's gotta be phenomenal. So just now the waiter came to us and he was asking, you guys wanna try some wine, wine with bread. Uh, did you know you could taste the wine when you first walk in? Lena got a diet soda and I got my own water. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Oh, wow, this looks great. Wow, Lena, that looks amazing. I mean, it looks and it smells beyond so. Okay. So far, I'm giving this restaurant like an A plus. This is my dish. Looks fantastic. I'm so excited to try these. It's shredded potato with white cheddar and chives. I just tasted some of Lena's tenderloin circles, medallions, whatever they're called. It's pretty good. This right here is on the money. I don't know why Lena's not tasting it yet. Wow. So far, I am very pleased with this restaurant. Let me tell you something. Gets a thumbs up instant from me. Only one bite in. That's all you need. Absolutely phenomenal, guys. Wow, we've been missing out. I think this just dethroned every mashed potato I ever ate in my life in one bite. Giving you guys a little mid-dinner update. They brought us more bread, thank God. This bread's fantastic. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Everything's phenomenal. Definitely coming back here again. Me and Lena was just talking. If all this food is good, we can't imagine what the cheeseburgers are and the other dishes that they have here. Everything's great. So our bill just came. Actually, not bad. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, I'll be honest. The food was excellent. Did I mention it's 4th of July today? Happy 4th of July, everybody. That was my first ever time, me and Lena's first ever time at Cooper's Hawk. It's a winery and restaurant. Uh, the main theme they got going on for that place is that 
when you walk inside, you could taste the wines. They give you a bunch of different wines to try. I don't like alcohol. I don't drink wine, beer, anything really alcoholic. Half of that restaurant is not even good for me. If I had to rate my experience just now in that place, on a scale from one to 10, uh, I'm giving it a solid eight. I mean, the food was excellent. The bread was excellent. The atmosphere was nice. And the food was not really that expensive as I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, I give it an eight out of 10, maybe even a little higher, maybe like an 8.25 out of 10. But eight-ish out of 10 regardless. Definitely going back there one day. I can't imagine how good the other food is from there because what we ate just now was phenomenal. Like, you can't mess up breaded chicken, right? Any place you go and get breaded, crusted chicken, it's going to taste okay. It's going to taste good. It'd be pretty hard to mess that up. But they went above and beyond what I expected it to be. And fantastic. Excellent job, Cooper's Hawk. Definitely going back there. Since the pandemic started, this will be our second time coming to the movie theater. The first time we came here was to see A Quiet Place Part 2. We suffered because like the air condition wasn't working. I told Lena just now, if it's like that again, I'm walking out. There's no way I'm staying in that heat. But A Quiet Place 2 was so good that we didn't care. We was taking the suffocation because the movie was so great. So we just got out of the purge and let me tell you how effective the movie was on the way coming home it's fourth of july obvious there's gage outside blowing up fireworks like work at all we're looking around that outside we came back home we came home scared it was definitely better than the other purge movies by a long shot i think this was better than the purge the first purge the second purge the third purge however many purges they are i think this was the best one this was definitely better than the other one we seen it was more interesting. I liked the storyline more where they took advantage of the 12 hours thing. Now they made it forever, now they went off. Cause that's what I always thought about in the original movies. How come they don't just snap and say, no, we don't want for one day, we want forever. This movie was pretty much that. So sorry if I spoiled the movie for you guys, but it is what it is. Uh, it's gonna be for this video guys. Peace out, stay safe. God bless. See you guys next time.